Today is dessert day in Bangkok. I'm at Siam Center and I'm on the fourth floor. This is called Food Republic. There's just like restaurants and food stalls everywhere. There is one particular dessert I'm here for, but let's start off with some appetizers. These are the original little mini pancakes. I'm sure they just probably taste like little mini pancakes. I ordered some special ones. I'm really excited about that. Thank you. These are filled with Nutella and these are filled with cheesy lava. Mmm, the Tana one's really good. Now let's try a cheesy lava. Wow, I was expecting something sweet, but this cheesy lava, it tastes like melted American cheese. Finally, I got these, and this is with mozzarella inside. This is my favorite one of all the mini pancakes. I just wish there's some marinara sauce to kind of dip this in. I'm at this cafe called Audrey, and this place has some ridiculous desserts. I'm starting off with some peppermints, um, iced tea float. So there's uh, vanilla ice cream on top with uh, mint leaf and then peppermint tea. Wow, this is actually pretty perfect. I was hoping that the tea wouldn't be too sweet. It's barely sweet, and all the sugars is really coming from the ice cream. That is just cooling and refreshing. Something else I got. Look how pretty this thing is. Look at it. Yeah, beautiful. Here, here, here. Show off all your size and, and all your wedges and, and, and angles. Oh, oh, it's like cutting into whipped cream. Oh my goodness, this is tender. It's like I just ate a piece of cloud, if, if clouds taste like Thai iced tea somehow. Look at this, I'm not exerting much strength at all. I'm basically just pushing on the fork just a tiny bit, and it's just falling all the way through. You guys want to see the most delicious falling over ever? Check this out. Look at all those layers of delicious cake. Mm. That really is a, a beautiful piece of crepe cake. Every single layer, you can see it. The sauce is gentle and velvety. The flavors are rich, smooth, and creamy. Oh, Lady M, eat your heart out. <laughs> this is the reason I came here. Check out how pretty this is. Ladies, wouldn't you rather have this any day than like, like a real flower? You can't eat real flowers. What are you gonna do with them? You're gonna, you're gonna get them, put them in water and die. This, this could be part of you forever. It could nourish your body. Well, not, it's not gonna nourish your body because it's so sweet, but it'll make you happy. It'll make you happier. Okay, the, the frosting is a little tough. I'm hoping this is not one of those things that, that looks way better than it tastes. There's the frosting, set it on the plate. It has a cookie crust on top. And then look at this, guys, look at that beautiful cake. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's got orange, uh, I think this is compote, this is like some sort of jam. I'm gonna take a big bite of frosting, of cake, of this green leaf thing, and some of that jam. Mm. Wow, that's actually really good. It looks good and it tastes good. I took off the frosting so we can kind of dig inside this. Look at this beautiful cake. It's actually layered. And there's real chunks of oranges in here. Mmm, how fun is this? The reason I'm up for this video is massive ice cream, 22 scoop ice cream sundae. It looks like something that Hello Kitty would eat. It is literally half my body. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat that. That's my ice cream. Well, the base of my ice cream right there. And she's about to put 22 screams of ice cream in here. Oh my lord, this thing is about the size of my table. I can hide my whole body behind this. It's so heavy. This thing is, it's, I feel like this is at least 20, 25 pounds. And it's got everything. I think this is parfait on the bottom. We may never know because I don't know how I'm gonna get down here. Fresh strawberries, cake, waffles, 22 scoops of ice cream, three servings of soft serve on top that is melting right now because I'm standing beneath this lamp, and three packages of Pocky Sticks. I don't think I can eat three packages of Pocky Sticks on its own. Check this out. The tools I have to tackle this are these. This is, this doesn't, how, how, I need a spatula or like an ice cream scooper. This, this is for eating lobster or like little macaroons. This is not, how am I supposed to do this? And everyone's looking at me because no one's ever seen an idiot buy this big of a sundae for himself before. I'm gonna start off with a strawberry because, you know, 
this will help me cancel out everything else I'm about to eat today. Now that we got the healthy thing out of the way, let's get to it. This is not a challenge video. I am not going to be able to eat all this. It's not possible. So I'm going to start off with uh, some soft serve and a pocky, which they put upside down in there because they want to make it look pretty. And I just consumed about 0.001% of this one entire Sunday, which if this was a food challenge, would be very, very, very demotivating. And here's the thing. I don't know how I'm gonna even get down to the ice cream itself. This is like a fortress, right? To get down to the ice cream, I'm gonna have to consume the soft serve here, consume the strawberries, consume the pocky, then I have a chance to actually eat, get to the 22 scoops of ice cream. And I'm really curious to see what, what the bottom, that beautiful pink bottom layer tastes like. Oh, thank you. So, I got the proper tools, and I'm like, I feel like I'm a circus attraction right now because everybody is like, who is this random dude just like stuffing his face with this giant sundae? I feel like I can at least give away the Pocky. Sharing the, my Pocky well. Yo, please, please, take two. We only have two though because I want the rest, and no, I'm just kidding. This is how you make friends in Thailand. Come on, Pocky. So I figured out a way to get to the bottom of this sundae. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share. You guys are awesome. Please have some, have some more Pocky. Have some ice cream. Would you like a strawberry? Maybe would like a strawberry. Yeah. You want to be healthy. Yeah. Balance, balance some ice cream out with some strawberry. Yep. This is the scary part. Like 10, 15 people came by and took took some pocky and some ice cream and strawberry, and this not hasn't even made a dent. Let's do some marketing here. There's not enough people passing by. We need more people. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Have some ice cream. I can't bring it to you. It's too heavy. You, got, you have to come to me, I'm sorry. I'm on diet. You don't diet? Have a strawberry then. <laughs> My parking marketing has slowed down. I don't have enough people coming here to help me. And my ice cream is about to melt, so I'm gonna get to the bottom. I wanna taste the other ice cream. And I wanna taste that pink stuff in the bottom. Come on, help me. I'm being really strange right now. This is the scene I'm painting for you. I'm standing here in Bangkok in a mall, eating this big ice cream with my giant spoon, occasionally asking people to join me. I am getting past the soft serve part. I'm getting to the sorbet, and the sorbet has actually good flavor. This is the first ice cream yeah. I'm tasting. This is a strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream really nice. I'm almost to the ice cream and the little waffles, and there's still a lot of pokey left. I'm gonna remove the pokey, and there we go. Here's some of the ice cream. I'm gonna, I wanna try some of the ice cream out. I don't know what flavor this ice cream is. Oh, passion fruit. Mm. Then we have this blue ice cream. Mm. I think that's cotton candy. Hey, come on, help me, help me. I'm literally calling out to help for people walking by. I'm just like, help me. It's like I'm trapped inside this bowl of massive sundae. I'm literally, help me, please, please. And people are just like, why are you being so creepy asking for help, you random stranger with a big, giant goldfish bowl of ice cream. Finally fished this waffle out of here. And the waffle, it, it's it's soggy, which, I mean, obviously you want it hot and crispy, but I, under, I understand you can't put a bunch of hot and crispy waffles in here. They'll melt the entire ice cream right away. This is good. I just need, to, need some more ice cream. Mmm, rum raisin. That's my favorite. Rum raisin is my favorite ice cream. I'm gonna get one of these pieces of cakes out of here. This cake is frozen solid. That's a really tough cake. It's like biting into a piece of ice. I feel like I am deep enough. Let's see what this pink yogurty thing on the bottom of this glass is. Reach my spoon in there. And I'm going to, oh my God. There we go. There we go. Whoa, finally. The bottom of the bowl. That's strawberry whipped cream. Light and fluffy, I love it. I am just really surprised. I didn't know so many scoops of ice cream could just like lay on top of whipped cream. Guys, it, it's been an hour. <laughs> and this is, I, I finished like 10% of it. I'm gonna sit here and try to eat some more. I'm gonna try to offer some to pass it by, although now it, it looks pretty disgusting. I don't think I'll get any takers. But this is a really fun experience coming here and eating a ginormous ice cream because I don't feel I don't feel like this is something you'll find in New York. I think in New York you'll find something really expensive like like a $1,000 one scoop of ice cream 
that's somehow covered in caviar and, and gold leaves. But in Bangkok, you'll find an ice cream sundae that's bigger than a baby. Anyways, really fun dessert day. I had the opportunity to meet a lot of locals. Everybody's extremely nice, so I had a really good time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're one of those people who are walking by and you saw a random dude like asking you to come over and eat some of his ice cream, I wasn't trying to be creepy. I was just desperate. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. And until we eat again, I'll see you later.